Something you will use daily on our iPhones is of course the keyboard, but most iOS users will just use the basic stuff and you probably don't know a lot of tricks and hidden hacks that you can get on your keyboard on iOS which will make your typing way easier and of course you will have some other cool things on your keyboard that will make your typing way better and way cooler than other users. Now let's get started with the first one. So as you know when you type something on the keyboard of iOS let's say we type a word like car iOS right here the predictive text will suggest you an emoji you probably know about that but did you know that even if you have a text like this or you have already typed that word and you have typed other words as well but you want to go back and change that to that emoji all you have to do is actually just place the cursor right there at the end of that word and as you can see right there it will actually allow you to do that so let's just place that right at the end and as you can see we can pick any of the emojis and replace that word as easy as that on ios using the keyboard you can easily create a bullet list now the way it works all you have to do is go to the symbols right here and where you have this line tap and hold on it and you can go ahead and add that dot which actually allows you to create a bullet line so we can go ahead and of course create one right there and then move on to the other ones again just go ahead and add that dot and as easy as that you can create a bullet list on ios on the notes app or messages or anywhere you type on your ios device Here's another very simple yet very useful trick for your keyboard. Whenever you're typing something and at the end of a sentence you want to add a period, you will have to tap here at the numbers and then go and add the period. But you can do that quickly actually simply by double tapping the space bar right there which is way way easier and of course allows the chain to actually add that period way faster without having to switch between different keyboards. Now the way to do that is by enabling it under settings. So head on to settings, go to general, here you will have the keyboard settings and then you will have something here called shortcut. You enable this here and that will allow you to add the period simply by double pressing the space bar. Now here I will show you guys something really cool that I have on my keyboard. So let's switch to another keyboard here. So we have here a keyboard for Japanese. So let's just go ahead and switch there. When you switch to this keyboard, switch right here to the numbers and then tap on that little button right there. Just at the back button, tap there and you will get all these like cool types of like emojis or whatever you want to call them that you can add anywhere you want on iOS. If you tap the arrow right there, it will show all of them. You can see how cool these are. You can just go ahead and add any of them as easy as that. So this is a keyboard that you can actually enable on iOS. So to do that, you need to go to your settings. Again, go to general keyboards, tap right there, and then go ahead and search for Japanese. So here we have that one. Let's just delete that. Let's go to add a new keyboard, search for Japanese. So there it is, tap on it and choose this one right here and then you will have that keyboard on your keyboards as easy as that. You can add any of these like really cool emoji faces which are actually pretty awesome to have. Now when it comes to keyboards on iOS we have custom fonts but you cannot actually use them on your keyboard. Well you can do that with a third party app that I will show you guys in this video. Of course the app will be linked right down below in the description of the video. It is called fonts and it allows you to have custom fonts on the keyboard which work system wide on iOS. So anywhere you type, whether you're typing on notes or maybe a social app like comments or anywhere on iMessage it will actually work. So let's just go ahead and switch to fonts here and you can see we have the normal font which is of course this one right here but then we have all these cool fonts that we can use to type on our iPhone so we can pick any of all of these fonts you can see how many fonts we have here which actually look really really awesome and as you can see they work here on the notes app I can go out of here I can go to iMessage and try to type a message of course we can just go ahead and switch to that keyboard and we can type with that font or another one here tap right there and send it as easy as that. This is really, really cool. All you have to do is actually install this app. And of course, make sure you have it enabled, go to your settings, and then right here under general keyboards, you go to keyboards right here and make sure you have fonts enabled and you're good to go.
Now when you're on your keyboard, you'll want to switch to a new keyboard to that fonts maybe or that Japanese keyboard. You'll probably have to tap here and see the list of the different keyboards that you have and switch to that. Or what you can do is just tap right there. A quick tap will just basically loop between all the different keyboards that you have without having to go to the menu first. All you have to do is just tap that button. Just tap it, not tap and hold, and you can go ahead and switch between all of your keyboards. Now, when you want to go to the settings of your keyboard, you can do that pretty quickly. You don't have to open settings, go to general and then keyboards. You can do it from these two buttons right here. Tap and hold and then tap on keyboard settings, as easy as that. Or again, from the dictation button right there, dictation settings, and just like that, it will basically take you to the same page right here where you will have your keyboard settings. So no need to go through the settings app, just go straight from the keyboard. Now this right here is probably one of the most useful tricks for your keyboard on iOS. So you're typing something here, and now we need a number, Tap and hold here and swipe to the number you want to add and then it takes you right back to the letters. So if we do it like this, go to numbers, we will have to tap here back to go to letters. Well, you can do that as easy as this, tap and hold, just tap right there and you're good to go. And when you go to numbers and you want to go to the more symbols right here, you can do the same. So typing numbers, tap and hold here, add another symbol and it goes right back to the numbers. Now this right here is really useful as well. So anytime you're typing and you want to add a symbol, just know that on iOS, every mostly every symbol on the keyboard has also other symbols hidden beneath it. So when you go here, so let's just go to the numbers. Let's say I want to add the dollar sign. I can tap and hold and it shows me all the other different currencies. Let's say you want to add like three like dots at the end of a message. You don't have to type all three of them. You just tap and hold and it shows you the three dots as easy as that. So basically for every like different, different symbol that we have here, we also have other symbols that you can just go ahead and see simply by tapping and holding the main one. And it shows you all the different, like different models that you can use on your keyboard. One of my favorite tricks when it comes to the iOS keyboard is the replacement of text with anything else. Maybe other text, maybe an emoji. So if I type here this text and I tap send, you can see it will actually send that emoji and not the text I just typed. Well, the way to do that is actually pretty simple. It's a built-in feature of iOS, has been here for a really long time. So you go to settings, general, and you go to keyboards. And then here we'll have text replacement. And there's the one that I have created right there. So what you need to do is go ahead and choose right there what you want to add. In this case, we want to add an emoji. We can do that. And then we have the shortcut so we can add the shortcut. So anytime I type the word car on my keyboard, it will automatically replace it with that emoji or you can replace it with anything else you want. So let's say maybe you have like a shortcut for your email. Let's say we can add here my email or something like that. And then right there on the phrase, you can add your email. And once you type my email, it will just automatically add your email right there. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some hacks and tricks that you need to know when it comes to your iOS keyboard. These will help you type faster, type better, and of course, have a cool keyboard on your iOS device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.